Saturday and it's a little after two. I hope you're all doing well. It's a beautiful day here in Ann Arbor. Uh, hope the weather's nice where you are. Uh, so what's up to today? Where are you joining me from? I'd love to know where you're from if you could just let me know. And uh, well, I guess we'll get started. Okay? All right. Let me see something here. Oh, well. So today I'm going to talk about, you know, it's summertime now, and the mosquitoes and the bugs are all out there to bother us, and I have some things to help you with uh, dealing with those problems. Now, the first thing I have for you is a mosquito yard spray. What you need to make this, you need... A big bottle of blue cheap mouthwash, three cups of Epsom salts, three stale 12 ounce, ounce cans of cheap beer. I don't know what's cheap beer, but because I don't drink beer, but anyways, I'll figure it out. And it says mix those three ingredients together until the salt has dissolved. You spray it everywhere you sit outside, around the pool, um, and it will not harm plants or flowers. Mosquitoes gone from that area for approximately 80 days. Now that would be nice. That's must that's you know pretty much most of the summer here in Michigan. But the stronger you mix, the longer it will last. Mosquitoes and bugs hate it. And it has a nice mint smell. I want to thank my friend Patricia Schoen for posting that. That's where I got that from. Yeah. And the next thing we're going to talk about is an all-natural bug and tick repellent using essential oils. Summer is in the air, and I couldn't be more excited. Winter wet was way too long for me this year as it always is. I love everything about summer. Swimming, barbecuing, boating, floating, camping, the beach, everything except the bugs. That is one thing I seem to forget about every single year. It's all it's, it's all fun except for the bugs. We practically live outside in the summer. So using a bug, bug spray is a must. Using essential oils as a bug repellent allows you to know just what the spray you're putting on your body is. Non-toxic. Because you know a lot of that stuff you buy in the store, so full of toxins. And you shouldn't really be using that stuff. There are a number of bug repellent essential oils that work very well at keeping ticks, mosquitoes, and other pesky bugs off of you. Are you ready to get toxins out of your home? Well, here's one way to make a bug spray, bug repellent, that will help you do just that. Now, what essential oils to use to deter ticks? I often get, get asked, what do I do about ticks, especially when I'm sharing photos and videos of my kids in the woods? Ticks can carry disease that can transfer to humans when they bite you. I understand the dangers of them, and we do the best we can. Keeping the kids inside or out of the woods is nearly impossible for some families, and I do love to go exploring. Cedarwood essential oil works wonders for ticks. Have you ever noticed ticks are less prevalent in the woods with cedar trees? It's because they don't like the scent of cedar. This is why you will find cedarwood essential oil in this homemade bug spray. If ticks are a big problem in your area, you can even add an extra drop or two of cedarwood, which I usually would do. During the late spring and early summer, when twigs are at their worst, 
I soak my dog's, you can soak your dog's collar in a mixture of water and cedar wood every few weeks to help keep the ticks off of them too. And um, there is a, a book here that, that this lady has, but I'm not going to share that because it's not mine. It's important to get ticks off after they bite to reduce the chances of certain diseases. Checking the kids for ticks becomes, can become, should become part of your bedtime routine during tick season. What essential oils to use to defer mosquitoes? Other than ticks, I think mosquitoes are the most annoying part of summer. Are you one of those people that gets bit up worse than everyone else? And have you ever noticed that? You are not crazy. Mosquitoes and ticks prefer certain blood types. Mosquitoes really hate the scent of eucalyptus, peppermint, and lemongrass. Adding those essential oils to your natural bug repellent will help keep those pesky insects away. If you live in an area where mosquitoes like to breed, such as near a lake or the woods, it can be difficult to stay 100% bite free. And there is, uh, I do also, I'm going to share with you a uh, roller bottle itch relief that uh, you can use if you do get fit to help uh, cut down on the itching. Now, how to use essential oils in bug spray for gnats. Don't you hate those little buggers? They just seem to come everywhere, especially if you have like a wound. They just, they're really attracted to it. <laughs> and all you need to do for this DIY gnat insect repellent is essential oils, pure vanilla extract, and water. And making your own insect repellent for gnats is easy. And I'm happy to say it works just as well as the store-bought. We tested this when we had an issue with gnats and chickens. <laughs> I'm reading someone else's uh, information here. This is my personal story. One summer, we had, a, we had gnats really bad. Like so bad, it took out half of our flock of chickens. If you don't know, gnats like to work their way up chickens' noses, and it literally suffocates them. It is so horrible and gross. We learned this lesson the hard way when we came home to a run full of dead hens. I quickly made this bug spray, even bought bug spray on Amazon specifically for gnats. We used the spray from Amazon one time to find out it didn't work near as well as the homemade kind with oils. Now we use it daily during that season. It's, is that a thing? Is that a thing? Okay, essential oil bug repellent for gnats recipe goes like this. A 16 ounce glass bottle, add 10 to 15 drops of each citronella, peppermint and lemongrass essential oil. Top off with water and shake well, adding a half teaspoon of pure vanilla extract to spray will also help rid yourself of gnats. Each of these oils in this recipe will work just fine on its own if you don't have all three of the essential oils. Now here's a bug spray using um, witch hazel. Witch, witch hazel can be made with or without an alcohol-based astringent that is commonly used in homemade repellents. I prefer to use an alcohol-free kind to keep it from drying out my skin. If you plan to use this on surfaces or clothing, then either kind will work just fine. I'm using a mixture of witch hazel and vinegar in my bug spray. Vinegar works well at deterring a lot of different bugs, including ants and spiders. However, fruit flies can be attracted to the vinegar, and people often add a little to a bowl in the kitchen, and then they will fly to that. They will fly into it and drown. If, if fruit flies are an issue, you can make a spray with just witch hazel. So far, I have noticed it to work best with the witch hazel 
and vinegar mixture. Now, how to make an all-natural bug and tick spray. This post contains, okay. This is a great all-around homemade bug spray. If you are trying to target a specific bug, see my recommendations above and simply use those oils recommended. Ingredients, witch hazel, apple cider vinegar, eucalyptus essential oil, cedarwood essential oil, rosemary essential oil, tea tree essential oil, lemongrass essential oil, and peppermint essential oil. Pour a quarter of a cup of witch hazel into your, witch hazel into your 16 ounce spray bottle. Add eight drops of each of the essential oils and top off with apple cider vinegar. Shake and it's ready for use. Now, how to use your natural bug spray. It is best to use it before the bugs start biting. I leave mine right by the door so I can spray it on the kids and myself before we go outside. Spray it on any exposed skin, avoiding the face, and you can put it on your clothes. I use my bug repellent lotion bars for the face and neck. Well, I'm going to have to find that recipe for y'all. It is best to reapply every couple of hours while outside. The ingredients, the ingredients are natural and safe for children. But you can just spray it on the children's clothing if you feel more comfortable. I personally have four little ones, and I use this on all of them. If you have children under three, you can dilute it further by cutting the amount of oils in half. Now, let me see what this one is. I'm a little confused here. Bug and tick spray. It takes about five minutes to make it. Ten minutes altogether, it says. A quarter cup of witch hazel. Apple cider vinegar, eucalyptus essential oil, cedarwood essential oil, rosemary essential oil, tea tree essential oil, lemongrass essential oil, and peppermint oil. Pour a quarter of a cup of witch hazel into your spray bottle. Add eight drops of each essential oil. Top off with apple cider vinegar and shake, and it's re ready for use. So there you go. Now let's talk about, oh, now look. We'll talk about essential oil roller bottle for bug bite relief. This essential oil blend for bug bite relief is a must-have roller bottle to have on hot hand for summertime. Bugs bite, bug bites can be annoying and very itchy. This blend will help relieve the seemingly constant itch. The roller bottle is easy to apply and can be used on the go to help with those irritating bug bites. This essential oil blend for bug bite relief is a must-have roller bottle to have on hand for summertime. Bug bites can be annoying and very itchy. This blend will help relieve the seemingly constant itch. A roller bottle is very easy to apply and can be used on the go to help with those irritating bug bites. We love summertime over here. It is a time of the year that I can actually keep my house clean because we spend more time outside than in. And that's true for all of us, don't you? During the winter months, I can only remember the good things about summer and seem to forget about a few not-so-good things. I never seem to remember the bugs, ticks, poison ivy, as I said. We spend a lot of time outside, and it's all just part of it. I do my best to prevent with homemade bug and tick repellent or my bug repellent lotion bars. I'll have to get that recipe for you too. But this roller bottle really comes in handy when we get a bite. It is easy to apply and small enough to fit into your pocket. When you go on hiking or a camping trip, I always keep handy during the summer months for a quick bug bite itch relief. And I'll go through all her pages here, sorry. Let's get to the next page. Here we are. Um, I 
Essential oils can be used to help relieve the itch from bug bites. Some have properties that make them effective against skin irritations that can result from scratching. Others have properties which make them effective at calming down irritated red or swollen skin. We all know scratching bug bites, rashes, scabs, or any skin irritation can make it worse. Can you remember being told as a kid to stop scratching? But geez, it's hard and so much easier said than done. These essential oils can help stop the itch. Basil. This oil is an amazing, is amazing at relieving itch. And you, if you only have basil, mix it with a little coconut oil and apply it to the bug bite, and you will see how well it helps stop the itch. So if you have some basil at home, add some basil to a little coconut oil, rub it on the bug bite, and it should relieve the itching. That's nice to know. Peppermint. All bugs seem to hate peppermint, which makes it great for a bug repellent. Plus, it's very soothing for the skin, making it great for relieving bug bite itch. Tea tree oil, also known as melaleuca. This oil is great for all skin irritations. Roman chamomile. This oil is gentle enough for sensitive skin and wonderful to cool and soothe the skin. Bergamot. Be careful using this one during the summertime as it is photosensitive. And what that means is if you put it on your body and uh, you go out into the sun, you're more likely uh, to get sunburned easily. Do not use on skin that will be exposed to direct sunlight. Eucalyptus. Similar to peppermint, this oil helps to cool and soothe the skin from irritations. It's important to dilute essential oils before applying them topically to the skin. This is why I love to make a roller bottle. Roller bottles are mixed with terrier oil, making them pre-diluted and ready to apply directly to your skin. Because most essential oils, uh, you do need to mix with a carrier oil, and I usually don't want to place uh, an essential oil directly on your skin. Okay. Fractionated coconut oil is my favorite carrier oil to use when making roller bottles. With its soothing properties, it can be effective for healing bug bites. Making roller models is very easy to do and make applying essential oils so much easier. This recipe is going to be for an adult. If making this for a child, be sure to dilute it further by cutting the amount of essential oils in half. I want to show you what a roller brownie looks like. Well, of course, I don't have one in here. I thought I had one in here. But, you know, it's just it's just a little bottle with a roller top. And to make your essential oils, you can order um, the, the little bo roller bottles. And you just pop off the roller top, put all your essential oils and carrier oil in, put your roller uh, ball back in, shake it, you know, close the top, shake it up, and you're all set. Okay. So the ingredients. A 10 milliliter roller bottle, fractionated coconut oil, basil essential oil, peppermint essential oil, tea tree essential oil, Roman chamomile essential oil, bergamot essential oil, eucalyptus essential oil. And just so you know, uh, on my um, website, uh, you can uh, order 100% pure essential oils. And um, I will um, uh, give you the uh, link to my, my website in the comments after I'm done with this video today. Instructions. Add five drops of each essential oil to a 10 ml glass roller bottle. Top the roller bottle off with fractionated coconut oil. Secure roller bottle cap and shake well. And reload, roll onto area of concern as needed. How long do essential oil roller bottles last? Essential oils never expire if stored properly. 
They will never lose potency either. It is best to use a dark colored glass like blue or amber. Always remember to store essential oils out of direct sunlight. When stored properly, your essential oil roller bottle will be good for several years. How to use essential oils for bug bites. It is best to apply often to help take away the itch and irritation. Roll the essential oil roller bottle directly onto the bite to the bite and around the bite area as needed. Essential oils for spider bites. If you suspect you were bitten by a spider, it is important to check with a doctor before trying any of these measures on your own. Essential oils that can be helpful for spider bites are lavender, tea tree, and frankincense. You can make a roller bottle with these essential oils to apply to spider bites. If I suspect a spider bite, I apply my homemade drawing salve. Well, I don't have that recipe with me today. That is made with added charcoal, activated charcoal, can help to pull toxins and poisons out of the bottle. Essential oil roller bottle for bug bite relief. Again, we use a 10 uh, ml roller bottle, fractionated coconut oil, basil essential oil, peppermint essential oil, and tea tree essential oil, woman chamomile essential oil, bergamot essential oil, and eucalyptus essential oil. Add five drops of each essential oil, essential oil to a 10 ml glass roller bottle. Top the roller bottle off with fractionated coconut oil. Now, fractionated coconut oil is in a liquid form and it stays liquid. So you don't want to use the, um, the hard coconut oil. You want to make sure you get fractionated coconut oil because that is and stays as a liquid. Okay. Secure roller bottle cap and shake well and roll into the roll on to the area of concern as needed. So that's what I have for you today. And so far as bugs are concerned, I have one more thing I want to add. I have a recipe here for an after sun spray. It uses one cup of liquid aloe, one quarter cup of fractionated coconut oil, six drops of peppermint, six drops of lavender, six drops of melaleuca, six drops of Roman chamomile. And how you make this is you add the ingredients to a glass spray bottle, mix well, and spray on your sunburnt skin. So you see, there are so many things that you can take in your house um, and replace them with non-toxic essential oils. They work just as well, if not better, than the store-bought products. And a lot of the store-bought products, as you know, contain harmful chemicals that can cause all kinds of disease and all different kind of stuff. So why not try using some essential oils and making some of these things? On my website, I do sell essential oils. And the company I'm with, our essential oils are 100% pure. And they are much cheaper than some of the other big name essential oil companies out there. And just because they're cheaper doesn't mean they're not good. They are still 100% pure essential oils. So listen, now I've got your attention, I just wanted to let you know that I do have a group on Facebook. I'd love to have you join my group. It's called Essential Oils and You. And I post things like, like this video. Um, I post other recipes for different things that you can make using essential oils, uh, different things that you can make to clean your house, to um, use in your bath, to wash your hair, condition your hair, just all kinds of things. You know, there's so much that you can do with essential oils. And you can make things that are non-toxic, replacing the store-bought chemical-filled products that you buy from the store. So listen, I hope that you found this little video informative, that you enjoyed it. And I would love to have you go to my YouTube channel. It's in the ticker down below. And maybe look at a few of my videos. Leave me some comments. Like my videos. 
and subscribe to my channel because all three of these things will help my YouTube channel to grow and allow YouTube to show my videos to more people. So, for now, oh, one more thing. Itchy knows. Um, I do also have a website where you can purchase things. And that is, that it, to get to that site, it's uh, https essential dash oils dash and dash y-o-u dot com. And, you know, I'd love to have you go there and check it out. Maybe join my email list. Right now, I'm offering a free ebook to whoever joins my email my email list and the ebook is all about what essential oils are safe to use around your cats and dogs and what essentials essential oils not to use around cats and dogs because you know dogs and cats their sniffers a lot more sensitive than ours and there are some oils that you can use with your pets and there are some oils that you cannot use with your pets of course it's always best to check with your vet um, for using essential oils on your animal. And if you have any questions about essential oils in pets, you should also contact a holistic vet. A holistic vet is more likely to um, agree with you using essential oils on your pets than a regular vet. Regular vets, you know, they're more, more into the big pharma. Oh, we have medication for that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just like all the medications we take, you know side effects and everything else no side effects of essential oils so anyways i wish you all a very blessed saturday happy father's day to all the dads out there my dad passed away many years ago so happy father's day tomorrow dad in heaven and i will see you all next saturday please share this video with other people that may be interested in it and come join me every saturday 2 p.m i do a live video 2 p.m eastern time right here on my Facebook page. So I hope to see you soon. Thank you and bye-bye now.